Hi there, I'm Julie Davis with Blick Art Materials. Now we know what rhythm is when it comes to music and sound, but where does rhythm occur in visual art? When similar colors, shapes, and lines are repeated throughout a painting, it can give a sense of order and unity to a piece of art, just as repeating pattern can be heard in a piece of music. In today's project, we'll illustrate this principle in three-dimensional collage format, built up piece by piece and pattern by pattern to make rhythm in layers. One of the keys to success in this project is having a variety of shapes and lines to use. That's not to say you need to have a lot of materials, just a few basic ones. I have a 5 inch by 7 inch piece of mat board to use as a base. Then I've cut a number of smaller rectangles, triangles, and squares from chipboard. Next, I have some 12 inch wood dowels and some pre-cut wooden shapes. Now, I've gone ahead and colored a lot of these with Blick Studio markers. You can also use colored pencils or even paint. Other materials that I might use would be craft sticks, craft picks, maybe even some wooden blocks. Another key to success in this project is repeating color. You may want to make your color decisions as you build the collage instead of coloring the pieces beforehand as I've done. Let's start with the background. To get the maximum illusion of depth, make your background the darkest part of your piece. Now to start building, I'm going to select a rectangle, which I'll place over here. Then I will re repeat that rectangle in shape and color over on this side. Next, I'll select this green rectangle, place it here, and this green rectangle I'm going to put over here. Now, it doesn't need to line up or to be symmetrical in, in any way. It just needs to echo the shape and the color that was first put down. You can lay your patterns down in pairs, perhaps three of a kind, or even as I'm going to do with these purple pieces, we could lay it down four or more pieces at a time. Now I'm going to use Elmer's Carpenter's wood glue to put my pieces together. I don't necessarily need a strong glue to bond the boards together, but when I get to my wooden shapes, it will hold like I want it to hold. Okay, I'm moving right along with my collage. Let's take a look and see what I've done so far. Obviously, I'm building up the layers. I've used some more chipboard shapes, a few dowels, and I'm starting to put in some wood shapes too. I use the largest shapes in the background, and I'm saving my smaller shapes for the top layers. That way you're going to be able to see down in between all of the layers. I'm also gradually using some lighter colors. I'm extending my design well beyond the base. And I've created some repeating patterns on the pieces themselves. All of this adds depth and interest, but what I really want you to notice is the rhythm that I'm building. Now, I didn't start with a sketch or a plan going into this. I started placing shapes. And each time I placed a shape, I repeated it somewhere else. Now I think I'm about finished with my collage. It's difficult to know when to stop. I always want to add just one more piece. But rhythm and layers can be a time-consuming project, and I do have an option for speeding it up a bit. If you're working with elementary age students, I recommend using Wonder Foam. This material comes in bright colors and pre-cut shapes. And you can buy sheets to make rectangles and triangles and shapes that you don't have. Some of it is even self-adhesive. It's much faster than coloring your own shapes and still very effective for creating rhythm and layers. Now all the materials and instructions for this project that I showed you today are listed at dickblick.com backslash lesson plans. And if you're a teacher putting together lesson plans, we give you the national standards for visual arts education just to help you along with your paperwork. Thank you so much.